Hello, I'm back again, Lutra FM, with another episode of the Coventry City 2007-2008 Retro Database for FM24. Um, and there is a new format now, so basically Monday, Monday, Wednesday is going to be FM24 content, Monday is going to be the So Show save, and on Friday it's going to be the Coventry save. So this episode will be longer than usual, um, 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes, maybe 50 sometimes. So hopefully you'll enjoy the longer format. I'm just letting you know in case you haven't been paying attention to my community posts um, or if you only watch this series. So yeah, so that's the plan moving forward. And where you left us off last, we played a couple of um, championship games. We, we lost 4-0 to West Ham in the FA Cup third round. Um, but other than that, we've been unbeaten. So other than the FA Cup loss, we've been unbeaten in seven out of the eight games that we played recently so we're doing very well we're currently like fourth in the league so i'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode right so before i start the first game of this episode i just thought i'd show you a few of the competitions going at the moment and see who's the top players in the league at the moment so um we're currently fourth in the championship. You've got Sheffield United, Watford and Southampton ahead of us. Um, them two teams only two points ahead of us. We're nine points behind Sheffield United. So I have a look at the bottom, see if there's any surprise teams in the relegation zone. If my, mount, my mouse pad's playing up today. Uh, Hull City, Colchester and Stoke, which is probably... I mean, Stoke's maybe a surprise um, in that one. Maybe QPR down here, Crystal Palace, but probably pretty straightforward compared to what it was before like in in that top at that time and then what we'll do here we'll go up and we'll go up to the premiership if, come on oh my god having a nightmare already uh where are we england 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 there we go oh, god say sorry about doing this such a long-winded way there we go right um yeah so man united as usual probably back in that day 2007-2008, um, they obviously have Ronaldo, Tevez, Van der Sar, Vidic. Um, so they had a very, very good team. But yeah, 50 points. They're only two points ahead of Liverpool. You've got Chelsea third, Arsenal fourth. This is probably what, would, well, Liverpool being seconds a bit out of there. I'm not being funny to Liverpool fans, but I think you're overachieving on this database. Um, and then the relegation... Places you've got Birmingham, Sunderland, Derby, which is pretty much what I would think. Um, let's have a look across the world. Let's have a look at Italy. Uh, right, there we go. So you've got Inter, Juventus, Roma, oh, Pal uh, Palamo. Pal Palamo, Palamo, Palamo. I think they've got D uh, Dybali on this one, haven't they? Yeah, they've got um, Vazaghi, Zagado, Brescano, Cavani they've got as well. So they've got a very good team. Have they got Dybala? I can't see him. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, he's not on the database yet. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're doing very well. Palomo. And then you've got Caligari, who are having a terrible season. Regina, Palmer. Let's see what Palmer's got in their team. They got De Senna, Moroni, Boudan. So a decent team, but nowhere near what they used to have um, back in the day. Let's have a look. Have they got any standout older players? No. Um, I'm just curious what the Inter Milan and AC Milan teams are. So they've got bloody Zatan Abramovic. How's he doing this season? Banging them in for fun. 18 goals in 23 games. Absolute bargain price they pay for him. I can't remember him ever playing for Juventus. I just... Saw, I just... Hold on. Can I... Oh, my mouse pad is driving me up the wall. Right, there we go. I don't ever remember him going to Juventus, but he did. And he did well there. And then he went to Inter. But... um. Yeah, and then obviously went on to play for a few other teams. They've got Cambiasso, Swasso, Stankovic, Chivu, Cezar, uh, Macon, Maxwell, 
Adriana, a lot of uh, uh, sorry, a lot of Brazilian players. Na they got. I thought that said Shinsei Nakamura. I thought, how the hell does he play? How the hell is he playing? <laughs> He's a pro wrestler. Um, let's have a look at the Roma team. Let's have a look at Totti. They got De Rossi, who's like ridiculous on this game. Um, where's Totti? Maybe he's on the older. He's definitely still here, though, isn't he? There he is, Francesco Totti, absolute brilliant player back in the day. Um, eight goals in twenty-three games for them. Thirty-one years old, so he's still got some life left in the tank. Let's have a quick look at AC Milan, my favourite team. So they've still got Maldini, Capu. I don't know why I've got them on my shortlist, but I have. Um, Fiore, Sergino. I don't know, let's do it this way, probably be easier. There we go. So they've got Kaka, Perlo, Giladino, uh, Calazzi, Gattusto, Ambrosini, Emerson, Gukov. So they've got a very good team. Inzaghi still there. Who's George Weyer playing? Is George Weyer please still playing football at this point? No. That's a shame. I'd have signed George Weyer. Right. Uh, I won't be much longer. I'm just going to have a look at Spain and that's it. Um, actually, no, I'll just quick look at Germany, but I won't go through the teams. We'll just have a look, see who's... I'm assuming it will be Bayern Munich. Yeah, Bayern Munich dominating. So, Leverkusen second. Verde... Uh, ah, see? The shirt I'm wearing today. Verde Bremen. Um, they are... I think this was the season they won the league, wasn't it? Or was it the season after? Uh, Meta Saka, Diego, Borowski, Amida, Hunt. Anyway... Um, right, let's have a quick look at Spain and then we'll crack on because I don't know if any any of you are interested in th in this. If you are, if you want me to look at other leagues, other countries, let me know in the comment section and I'll have a look for you. I'm, I will, I would have a look at Scotland, but it's going to be Celtic in it. Let's be honest. Right, so Barcelona's currently first in the Spanish league. Real Madrid are second, uh, and then you've got Sevilla, Saragossa, Villarreal, and Valencia. So have a look at the Barcelona team. Why is it right clicking when I want it to left click? It's so annoying. Right. So they've got the uh, the greatest player on the game by the looks of it. Look at that. 230 to 250 million it would cost to sign him. I mean, look at these attributes. You couldn't you couldn't ask for a better player. Born leader as well. Such a shame that he kind of tailed off near the end, but he was such a he was such a great player. And then you got Iniesta. Who's only twenty three years old and already rated at hundred and up to one hundred seventy five million? Eat Eto, Poyo, Thierry Henry. I think we already looked at him in a previous episode, but just, let's have a look at this beautiful man again. Look at him, um, Lionel Messi, the future goat of all time, driven personality. You know, you can tell he was going to do well in, in football. Uh, and then let's have a look at the Real Madrid team. So they've got. Oh, they got Robin. Was he there? Oh, he was at Real Madrid, wasn't he? No, he wasn't. So they signed him from Chelsea for twenty four and a half million. Um, did actually did Robin go to Real Madrid in real life? I can't remember. Anyway, Sergio Ramos, Raúl Gonzalo Rodriguez. I don't remember him. Uh, Marcelo Gago, Casillas. I'm just trying to see if there's any surprise. Snyder. I think they've signed him on the save as well. Right, anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the football. Right, so this is our lineup for the first game of the episode. We are playing Barnsley, and uh, Birchall's on the right wing. I don't think he's played much for us on this save, so we'll see how he gets on. I think we've got a bit of a rotated defence because of injuries, because we've got Giddings and Turner in defence. Maybe the assistant manager has automatically rotated a little bit because he thinks we're going to do very well against Barnsley. I'm not as as sure as he is because I know how this game works. But uh, we'll see. We're keeping possession. That was a terrible pass, or I don't know whether who I don't know who was the blame for that one. Was it Best or Birchall for not timing his run properly? I don't know. Not that one, I'm not one for tactics. Oh, good interception there by Misford. Good ball. Ah, oh, best. Come on. You had more time. You had to put a foot on that and then shoot. You didn't have to shoot straight away. 
Oh, look at the techers there by Namini. That would have been a great goal, that went in. I've been seeing quite a few of them on my FM saves lately. The Somebody attempting over a kick. I don't know whether that's something that's just been put into it recently or um, with FM. I don't know. Still not getting excited about FM25. I saw... I've, I've seen something, whether... I, it's not been confirmed, but I've seen something about player roles being changed for, like in possession, out of possession, and I just, it's just too much, I don't really faff around with stuff like that, so it's not, that's just, I feel like that's just fluffing, I feel like that's like just an aesthetic thing to, to show, to say, oh, we've done something, it just, it doesn't, oh, one nil down, it doesn't, for me, um, feel like they're doing much to make the game better, but I mean, I might be a minority, other people might look that addition. I've seen a couple of people say they like it, so maybe it's just me. I just don't really fuck around with roles too much. I kind of just I stick to the tactics and then I just pick certain roles in that tactic that uh, that are set already. But yeah, I'm not I'm not too impressed with FM25, especially the fact obviously I'm still going to go on about it, but I'm really not happy about the uh, I'm getting rid of international management. I mean, I've I've had people say to me, well, they need to make it better. I mean, what can you do to make the international management side of things better? They, like, you, you get to manage the national team, you get to play in tournaments, what more do you want? I'm asking, like, I'm asking specifically people to tell me, like, what is it that you want them to improve on to make it better? Um, talking on an improvement, we need to improve desperately in this game we are getting thrashed here <clears throat> right come on best let's get one before half time virtual he's been all right so far in this game he's not like amazing but he's doing all right oh oh come on osborne right corner floats it up headed out oh that's it there you go mcnominy is that going to be allowed though? Yeah, good, right. So we've got one back just before half time. Hopefully, half time talk will convince them to get their thumb on the backside. We can turn this game around. Like I said, we are we are, we only lost one game in the last eight games, and that was in the FA Cup to West Ham. So um, we we're unbeaten in seven games in the league. We've won about four or five of them. I feel like we've got it in us to get a point out of this at least. <clears throat> Go on, Tab. Oh, that was a bit ambitious, but I like it. Sometimes you just got to take a chance. Right, Tab. Take you off. You're not playing particularly well, even though you were pretty decent just then. Put Julian Gray on. Oh, actually, I should have put Julian Gray on as left back. Oh, there we go. Put Marcus Hall on. There we go. 2-2. Two, two. Right, let's see if the subs will inspire us. Uh, no, let's leave it for now. Let me just see. Yeah, right, so let's take off. Actually, we'll still take off Tab. We will put on Horton. Um, take off Giddens. We'll put on Julian Gray. And we'll take off Virtual. And we will put on <coughs> Andy Cole. But I will tinker with it now. Andy Cole here, put best there, and then there, and then like that. There you go. Might absolutely completely ruin us now, but we'll see. Barnsley on the break from the corner that we had. Maybe it was a bad idea to tinker with it. But I think that would have happened whether we tinkered with the the thing or not. Right, okay, so we'll put Sheringham on. Right, and then what we'll do... Come on. There we go. Um, that. That, there we go. Um, what role is... Andrew Cole better at the 
advanced forward. So we've got you know, poacher. We'll have him as a poacher. We'll have Misford as a advanced forward. Um, and then we'll have you as a playmaker support. Sheringham as an attacking midfielder support. Right, let's see what we can do with this. Actually, we need to be more central as well, don't we? So we'll play through here like that. We'll shoot on sight. Run at defence. Narrow. Hopefully that will work out well for us. Maybe I shouldn't have tinkered with too much and that's why we're, we're going to end up losing this game. But sometimes you've got to take chances. Um, we'll see. I was kind of limited because I didn't have any... Ah, oh, there we go. It's over. I was kind of limited, really, because I couldn't really... I didn't have any right-wingers, so I kind of just tried to adjust to that. I should have probably just did something else. But, oh, well, you learn. We did well to get it back to 2-2 two -two initially, though. So, we've got to pat ourselves on the back for that. <coughs> But yeah, we need to bounce back next game. We shouldn't be losing to Barnsley. Right. Oh, bloody hell. Bolton beat uh, Arsenal 6-2. Former Arsenal player Anelka. I just... Oh yeah, 28 years old. Yeah, he's still in the... Actually, do you know what? Bolton would probably be a good save on here to do offline with this database because um, they have some good players in there. Older players, but good players. Right then, I'll be back in a sec, because it's not a game for 10 days. Right, I'm back. Um, we had an interesting-ish transfer deadline day. So, um, during this late transfer window, I managed to... So, let's go through our transfers um, recently. Obviously, we signed Rory de la Palme. We signed... We've re-signed the, the Coventry legend... Oh, no, not Rory de la the Coventry legend, if my mouse wants to work again. Um, Dion, Dub, Dion F in Dublin, everybody. He is 38 years old. He's not going to get any better. Perfectionist personality, by the way. And look at his attributes. Um, so he, he's been playing regularly for Norwich this season. So he'll hopefully be playing regularly for us. It's going to be quite interesting having, if he plays in defence, having a defence of... 38-year-old Dion Dublin and 37-year-old Andrew Adrian Dezou. But we'll see. I think we'll be very good in set pieces with him. Because he is very good at header. And I think a lot of his goals for Coventry and Aston Villa were headers. Um, and then the DOF decided to sign Nicola Facano, who I've never heard of, um, for 27k. And then also sign on loan Callum Davenport, who I do remember... Um, being a decent central defender. So we've definitely improved central defence-wise. Um, Davenport and Dazu are lining up today. Is Dion Dublin on the bench, maybe? I think Dion Dublin will get some game time. Um, yeah, Dion Dublin is on the bench. So he'll come on at some point. I might put him on up front, actually. Um, but yeah, right, let's crack on. I think the team is... Fairly straightforward from what I remember. So, Hughes back on the left. We've got Caro on the right. I think we've missed uh, having Caro on the right because last game we kind of struggled without a... I don't think we had a, a, a right winger. So I could be wrong. It might have even been Caro. Oh, no, it was J-Tab. He doesn't really play on the right. So, uh, boring game so far. No highlights after 22, 23 minutes. Here we go. First heart of the game goes to us. Set piece. Misford. Get in. 1 0. Own goal. Johnny Evans. I'll take a goal any way we can. Oh no, that was an absolute balls up. I'm amazed they didn't get a penalty then as well. This. Good save, Dimitris. Right, corner to Sheffield United. Floats it up, headed out nicely. We're on the break now, Bess. Bombs it forward. 
tries and uses space, passes it back to Osborne, Osborne across to Pew, Pew across to Borrowdale, and leaves to nothing. What was the point in that? Uh, uh, right, okay. Right, oh. I'll add the instructions in a second when it lets me. Right, they've got the, the ball now, booted out by Kenny. Straight to the zoo. Namini loses it. Sheffield United in possession now. Sheffield United, I think they're above us in the league, if I remember. I think they might be top, so we're doing very well to be winning 1 0. Famous last words, because I'm probably jinxing this. <clears throat> Good save. Oh, I thought that was a save. Right. Yeah, they are bubbles. They're top of the league at the moment. We definitely need to win this game to give ourselves a chance of automatic promotion. BT with the ball for Sheffield United. Nicely defended there. Quinn has the ball but loses it. We've still got possession, which concerns me. I feel like they're going to score at some point. Oh my god, what is going on? Our team is all over the place when it comes to the passing. Come on, let's get the ball off them. Oh, like we, we are so lucky to still be in this game right now. Right. Focus, lads. Focus. Oh. What a goal by Billy Sharp. That was such a great shot. Look at that for a celebration. Alright, next highlight is going to mm, going to us, I think. Who do we need to take off? I want to take off one of my strikers to put Dublin on up front, but they're, they're both playing quite well at the moment. Oh, I'm going to have to do something drastic. Um, maybe put Dion Dublin in defence. Take Pew off, maybe. Right, let's have a think. Let's look at this. Right, who's playing really badly? Okay. So we'll put Tate McNamini off. Who can we put on for you? No one. Great. Um, okay, that's a pain in the ball. We take off, take off Caro, put Tav on, take off Pew, put Giddens on, and then, mm, mm, uh, mm. there we go, that solves that. Um, yeah, McNamini's playing, there we go, we can take off the zoo, we can put Dion Dublin in there, give him his debut. Right, we'll leave the rest for now, because we've just took off a a few players get in Dion Dublin get in <laughs> he only just come on the pitch and he's already scored oh what a great re-debut for the man the legend that is Dion Dublin two two right let's see how we get on now Maybe take off Davenport, I think. Put Elliot Ward on. Uh, oh, good save. Our goalie's been keeping us in this game so far. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put take off him, but I don't know who to put on for him because I haven't really got anybody. Ah, there we go. Rory Diller. He can come on for you. Right, best with the ball. We can hopefully use Rory Delap's uh, Rory Delap's long throws. You can see it now. Rory Delap, long throw, Dion Dublin, British headers it in. Gets the winner. I'm I'm buzzing that Dion Dublin's already made the contribution to this game. He only came on for like he only came on like one minute before the goal as well. Tab. Good cross. Oof. 
I mean, it was a. I mean, if that header went in, I'd have been amazed. Right, last shout of the game for us. Bit of encouragement. Hopefully it'll work. We just got to hope that they don't score from this. Goal. Damn it. I mean, they've got flipping sharp and beaty and. Uh... Oh well, it still won't take away. Dion Dublin's Dion Dublin's moment. Ah oh, well, I didn't want to win anyway. Or two. Another loss. This is not be this has not been the best of episodes so far. Two loss, two games played, two losses. We need to get our thumb out of our backside for the next game. Right, I need to do a team meeting, I think. That's my route. Right, that's helped a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, a must win game here. Um, to Zoo and Davenport's in centre defence. Misfit and Best is up front. I might change that. I might take off Zoo and put Dublin in for this game. Um, we'll put. We'll put. Um, and then I think what we'll do, we'll take off Osborne for this game. Uh, so I'm trying to, there we go. Sorry, everybody, bear with me. There we go, right. Take off him. Rory de Lapp in there. Hopefully use his throw-ins. And then what I'm going to do is take off him. Rotate a little bit. Hopefully that will work out in our favour. Um, right, there we go. Right, let's see if these tactical changes will benefit us. We've got a few oldsters in the team here. So I'm hoping that with their experience we can, even if the pace is a bit slower, we can get something out of this. Dion Dublin, I think, is the captain for this game. I think he's got the armband on. Andrew Cole, got a bit of pace still on him. McNamini, back to Cole. Go on, Cole. Oh. Cole, you should have had the shot yourself. Or was that Caro? That might have been Caro. I apologise. That was probably very offensive of me somehow. Mis mistaken Cole and Caro. They're very similar animations on here. They're both they're both um, very similar because uh, like Dion Dublin, you know it's him because he's got bald head. Whereas you've got him there, Caro, and I think you've got Cole over there, and they they look very similar. Anyway, I apologise. Right, Borrowdale. Pew gives it to Quinn. Back to Pew. Pew on his right foot. Ooh. Might have been better trying to shoot on his left. Oh, Sheringham's injured. So we'll put on best. Colt. Oof, close. Sheringham has taken a knock. Yeah, I've took, I've took him off. I took him off already. Very confusing, right. See how we get on here now. Oh, <sighs> one nil down. This has not been a good episode. We're slowly trickling down the league as well, which is quite scary. We're literally only just in the playoffs now. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's not what I need just before half time. <sighs> yes, we do indeed have a mountain to climb. We are disappearing very quickly at the moment. Oh, I 
Like strife firing up the players. Andrew Cole's not playing particularly well. Um, Miss Food. Take off Q. Julian Gray. How's Dion doing? Dion 6.6, .6, so an okay performance for him at the moment. We are very sloppy though. Q. Dion Dublin, Quinn, Misswood across the queue. Go on, queue, keep going. Yes, go on. Right, let's get something out of this game, lads. Come on. Uh, no. Right, Misswood. Ah, oh, gets fouled. Go on, send him off. Send him off. Yes, come on. We're going to turn this around. This is where we turn things around, everybody. Turn the ship around. Do, 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 do. I've been watching too many Lujo videos. It's his fault. Um, yeah, no, it's not them. We don't want them to score now. We've got a man advantage here. Let's make the most of it. Come on, let's get the ball off them. Michael Duff, I think. Former Cheltenham and Bar uh, Burnley player. Oh, we need to get them a penalty, I swear. Oh, hey, go on, Cole. Missford. Caro, not Cole, sorry. I'll stop doing that. <laughs> right, Stephen Quinn. Q for Kamar. Um, Osborne. And then, have we got any more subs left? So we'll leave it for now. Caro, Delap. I haven't seen Delap do any of his long throws yet, which is what he's known for. Even on this database, he's probably known for it. Go on, Miss Wood. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was the equaliser. Caro, taking the corner. Come on, we've got to get a point out of this at least. Osborne, across the Borrowdale, loses the ball. Right, we, we can't take more players off anyway. That's my dog, by the way, if you can hear that. He's drinking water, I apologise. If I wasn't playing a match, I would uh, edit this bit. Go on. Oh, come on, Misford. Right, corner, Cairo, come on, let's get a, let's get an equaliser, come on. Oh, straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Very frustrating. We're playing better than now, but we're not we're not taking our chances. Davenport. I feel like we're gonna get a point out of this game though. Cairo. I think Dublin's gonna score like a late equaliser. What about now? Oh that was Osborne, I think. Yeah, Dion Dublin's not playing very well, is he? Right, let's demand a bit more from him and him. Right, we we don't want to be conceded another goal, thank you. We, we, we've got an advantage here. We've got a man advantage. Let's make the most of it. Yeah, we're, we're not going to get a point out of this game now, by the looks of it. If anything, Burnley look more likely to score. Oh, I stand corrected. Let's go. Misford. Come on, that's it. Oh, he did everything right there until the finish. I think the goalie got a hand to it though. All right, Caro with the corner. Come on, last chance here, I think. Caro. Oh, stop giving it straight to the goalkeeper. <sighs> right, I think that's it. Yeah, oh, such a shame. Another bloody loss. Oh, look at that now. We went from being here... So we're here in the space of two games, three games now. Right. 
we go again in three days' time, back in the same. Right, we're back. Um, I was going to forward to the next game, but I've just had this interesting inbox item come up. So, Australian investor Seth Robertson um, says he would make £76 million available for new players if his takeover plans for Coventry City are successful. And um, Robertson is reportedly looking to buy out the club's owners for around £14.75 million. The Coventry City Board have placed an embargo upon transfers as a result of the rumours regarding the possible takeover. These restrictions will remain in place until the outcome of the takeover has been resolved. Now, we all know how these things usually go. It'll probably just end up being somebody on the board taking over, so we're not going to get too excited. And it kind of would ruin the save a bit if I had all this unlimited like loads of money to spend. Um, it might be fun in one way. We might be able to take it another way and, and maybe just buy loads of the old like legends like Lillian Taran for instance um, if we get into the premiership obviously we can't do that if we're still in the championship but that might be one way of doing it it's not exactly the way I wanted to go with this save but you know sometimes you've got to take a a turn right so here we are playing Charlton Athletic next in a game that we definitely need to win I know I said that about the last game but we definitely need to win um, I've gone back to the old tactic I had before I've let the assistant manager pick the players this time instead of me tinkering with it. Um, so let's see how we get on. It does mean DL Dublin is on the bench. So we've got three old heads here, Dublin, Cole and Sheringham, that could probably come on up front if need be. You never know. At some point at the end of the game, I might have all three up front, change my tactic a bit and, a bit and have a, like a 4-3-3 three, three tactic or something. Or a 3-4-3, three, three, whatever. Hero. See if we can make a immediate impact in this game. I think we're gonna win I feel like we're gonna win this one. Michael Hughes is back in the team as well, so that might help. Because he is pretty good when he wants to be. Davenport's playing well so far, so is Michael Hughes. Twenty one minutes gone. I think we only have one highlight so far. Caro. Good pass. Go on, Hughes. Yes, get in. Fourth goal of the season for Michael Hughes. Back on track, I feel like, in this game. I think we're going to win this one. Where are Charlton in the league? Charlton's 11th, yeah. Back in the playoffs we are. We got knocked out of the playoffs briefly before this game. Hero to Michael Hughes. Tab, beautiful pass. Missford should have done way better with that finish, though. But we're doing well. We're doing well. Uh, one of our best players is knackered. Oh, two, two players are knackered already. I won't take them off just yet. Three players. I've got three players knackered. Right. Let's take these knackered buggers off. Uh, McNamony. Oh my god, we've got like three left backs but no right backs, which is really frustrating. Um, Giddens will just have to play there. And we've probably got no right wingers and three left wingers. Yep. So we'll put can Julian Gray play there. I suppose he'll have to. There we are. So we're on our right side, we've got two left left footed players, which is not good. Hopefully Charlton don't get back into this game. I'm happy with a one nil win. Borrowed out. Hughes with the ball, gives it to Tab. Tab with a nice pass. Shame he didn't go all the way to Misford though. Charlton goalkeeper kicks it out. Yeah, retain possession. Gray, Tab, Misford. Borrowdale now to Tab. Ooh, Dion Dublin would have scored that. Right, Best is coming off. Let's put Andrew Cole on. In fact, we will put on Dion Dublin as well. Borrowdale, you're just going to have to stay knackered, my friend. Oh, Cole and Dublin up front. Interesting position. Interesting partnership. Let me just make sure they've got the right roles here. Probably need to switch them about. That's better. Hopefully this will work in our favour. I mean, we're still winning 1-0, so we shouldn't panic too much. be nice for one of them two to score, though. 
Oradale. Poor knackered player. Can't even pass a ball properly now. Let's get the ball off him. Oh no, here we go. Oh, we couldn't win, could we? We couldn't just light win. <sighs> Come on. I don't think we're going to get a win this whole episode. Stay in the playoffs to the skin of our teeth here, by the looks of it. And I think they're going to end up getting the winner here. What a ball. I mean, just, I, I just... Uh... I mean, to go from 1-0 up to 2-1 down in the space of a couple of minutes is just disgraceful. Come on, let's get a late equaliser then. Beyond Dublin to the rescue. Nope, we're going to give them another goal by the looks of it. I mean, they've got a good team for the championship. They've got Batongi and they've got uh, Song. Who else they got? Varney. Luke Varney, from, he's pretty good back in the day, from what I remember. Right, come on, let's get a late equaliser now, lads. We're leaving it quite late, but we'll do it. Oh, my days. They're going to score here. Nope. Shocking play by our players here. Poor Borrowdale looks like he's going to pass out at any point. Luckily, we've got enough left-backs to cover for him. Right, I think that's it. Yep. <sighs> Another loss. We are down to 7th now. I got confused there with bloody Charlton. Um, this has been a terrible episode. Let's, let's, let's just go through. Yeah. So we've played 4 games and we've lost all 4 of them. This is just not on at all. And I've already done a team meeting so it doesn't really make any difference. I don't know what to do now. I thought changing back to that tactic would work. It did work initially. We are playing Blackpool next. I don't think Blackpool are very good. Yeah, they're down there. I'm hoping that's where we turn things around and get back on track. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a sec with the, the next game. Right, I'm back. Uh, I've got a few injuries, so I've had to push these from being defensive round here to in the middle here. Um, but yeah, this is our team. We've got Giddings as left back because we've got obviously Borrowdale's injured. Bazuru and Davenport in centre defence, Richardson back as right back, Quinn and Delap in, mid, in the middle of midfield, Tab on the right, Pew on the left, Misford up front with Cole. So let's just see how we get on. I'm hoping, in theory, we should beat Blackpool. Let's have a quick look at Blackpool's team. I don't think they've got a very good team from what I remember. I mean, they've got Tom Heaton in goal, who's not the, like, who goes on to be a good player. Dave Fox is all right. But that's it, really, isn't it? If you look at this team, there isn't really anybody that any good not saying our team's like amazing but I do think our players are slightly better so I do think we'll win this look at that passing Pew you're not right for it I don't understand why you keep doing that oh Gideon this is out no he's not I'm not taking him off tap oh we lost the ball this is where Blackpool thrashed me after just putting them down. Right. Do some encouraging. Nothing so far. Still nil-nil. We are slightly out of the playoffs. To be honest, if, if we get top 10 this year... I'd actually be quite happy with that because I personally, for the save, I don't particularly want to go up to the Premiership straight away. I wouldn't mind a few seasons mid-table struggling in the Championship and then maybe have like a good run and get into the Premiership as part of the last season of the save. Maybe do a season in the Premiership before the save finishes. So obviously FM25 is coming out in about two months. So we'll see. Oh, Misford, what are you doing? <sighs> Misford is usually better than that. He's on a bit of a bad run at the moment, which is not helping us at all. Right, let's get the ball. Come on. Let's get the ball off him. Good. That's what we want to see. Andy Cole. Andrew Cole, sorry. Tav. Come on, Tav. 
beautiful pass. I think Mistwood might be offside there. Yeah. That's a shame. At least he got it on target, though. Right. Richardson to the Davenport. Quinn has the ball now. Gives it back to Davenport. Back to Quinn. Quinn runs forward with it. Gives it to Pew. Pew bombs ahead on the left here. Gets past the player. Oh, unlucky misford. I don't think that was like a clear-cut chance for him. Might have to take him off though in a bit. Uh, yeah, he's playing poorly. Right. Um, I'm going to put on Teddy Schengel. And I'm going to take Andy Cole off and put Dion Douglas. And Richardson can come off. And no, he can't because we haven't got anybody. So I need to give them. Bloody bollocking. Blackpool look more likely to score at this rate. <sighs> I'll be disappointed even if we get a point in this game. We need to beat them. This is going to be a real doom and gloom episode, isn't it? Hopefully you're enjoying the, uh, the downfall of my team. Ah, oh, there we go. We should not be losing to Blackpool. Can I tell my players off, please? Thank you. Yeah, Richardson's definitely coming off now. I don't care. Right, who are we putting on? Elliot Ward. There you go. You can play there. Come on, Coventry, Jesus Christ. Nope, don't think it's going to happen. We are being FM, dear. Oh, come on, lads. Have you all lost the ability to head a goal? Oh, right, last highlight, free kick. Can we get a late equaliser? I'm not even going to get too excited if we score here. I feel like it's two points lost at this point, even if we do get the goal here. Quinn lines up the free kick. Saved by the keeper, and that's that, everybody. Not even Quinn can get us back in this game. What a poor episode. What a poor episode, indeed. Right, on that cheery note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Um, but thank you for watching. Hopefully next episode we'll get back on track. I'll have a think, figure out what I need to do. Maybe I need to change my formation, tactics or whatever. Um, but yeah, something needs to be done quickly because we're going to lose a lot of momentum we built up. Um, like the episode before, we, we were really good. So something's happened to trigger it. I need to figure that out and fix it. So anyway, I'll be back next Friday with another episode. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know in the comment section if you did or you didn't, and enjoy your weekend, and I'll be back soon. All the best. Bye.